Hey Meredith, uh, here's your house. These are all the measurements I took the other day, okay? You'll notice I converted feet into inches so you can calculate percent slope. And everything's color coded. So from here to here, 360 inches the distance. That's where your gate is that enters the, from the driveway. From here to there, you can't really raise the grade, obviously, because you want to be able to walk from your driveway level onto your stepping stone path. So you're going to end up having, which is fine, because from, from the corner you're coping in your pool, down to here, there's only a nine and a half inches difference in elevation. So if you don't, if you just have a constant pitch, like imagine if you pull a string from here to the ground level of your uh, gate, your existing gate, Again, now only nine and a half inches difference in elevation, which means that we're going to keep the slope on a string from here to here, 2.6 inches, 2.6 percent pitch, which is good. Okay, it looks as level as you're going to be able to get it. Okay, then from here to here is 45 feet, which equates to 540 inches distance. Right now, there's a 20 inch elevation change. The pool's 20 inches higher than the grade here, so. We're not going to be able to. Let me go pull this back. We're not going to be able to um, change the slope because, again, you want to be able to drive your lawn more through here. What you can do is you could probably cheat it. So, right now it's a 3.7% pitch if we pull a string from here to there. We might be able to do the sort of thing where we, we pull it level as possible and then over the last, like, call it four to five feet, we have a little bit more of an aggressive slope, so then this area feels more level than, uh, like the majority of your lawn area feels more level by doing that. So we get it closer to like the 2.6 to 3% pitch versus the 3.7% pitch, okay? So as we go to this side of the pool, this is where you have more of the issue, right? The steeper slope. So it's 156 inches distance from here to the right side of your existing trees and there's a 23 inches difference in elevation right now the pool is 23 inches higher than the two dots again everything is color coded so that means um, to get a three percent pitch we have to build a, a stone wall or build a retainer that's 18.5 inches tall so this wall at this point running along this side we have to be 18.5 inches tall then you'd have it gradually slope down to zero inches tall to level with the ground over here. That makes sense because this is going to sl constantly slope this way away from the pool. This is going to constantly slope this way from the pool. That's why there's two dots. 23 inch difference elevation, hence you have about a five and a half inches of pitch for the water to move this way away from the pool. And that's why you need a wall that's 18.5 inches tall. Okay. Same situation here, this wall, uh, the distance between the two purple dots is 192 inches, okay? 192 inches and there's a 25 and a half inch uh, elevation change. So to get this wall also at a 3% pitch going this direction, then the wall needs to be about 20 inches tall at this point, okay? Um, then as we make our way to the back, from the red dot to the other red dot is 384 inches. There's currently a 17 and a half inch elevation change. So if you want to get that closer to say a 3% pitch, then 0 0.03 times 384, that equals 11.5 inches. Okay, so 17.5 minus 11.5. That means you have like, call it a six to seven inch you could put uh, some stones six to seven inches tall on the back, or you could again, again do the same concept as here, which you kind of go flat as you can, and then over the last three to four feet, you do more of an aggressive slope to the trees, which is fine, I think, in this area along the back. That's what I would suggest doing. Okay. Um, and then this area over here is not, is not really an issue. It's 468 inches. Elevation change is seven inches. So this is going to have to be, the grade's got to be feathered in in this area. Okay. But all the stepping stones through here have to be lifted up. Again, all the stepping stones here, have to, we have to think whether we want to reinstall those or not. Okay. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the basic idea. And again, you need the drainage on this side because the, the, the patio here is actually elevated higher than the pool. And we don't want the water to sit 
along the edge of your coping so we put a little drainage going through here it's just a smart thing to do so um, I'll shoot this over to you and then we'll take it from there thanks